I'm Bud Spross, one of the vice presidents of the Dutchess County Historical Society. I will endeavor to identify some of the people in this film. Remember, this was photographed in 1912, 65 years ago. This is Mr. Baines, the owner of the Nelson House. Uh, the other gentlemen were not sure. Nelson House was the center of all social activity in the city of Poughkeepsie in 1912. One of the best hotels in the Hudson Valley. This we cannot identify. This is a group of Harry Madison of Madison and Ambler Stationery Store. This is a group of people coming out of the Duchess Theater at that time, it was a legitimate playhouse. Uh, if a play could make it in Poughkeepsie, it could make it on Broadway. This gentleman we do not know, but he's got quite an automobile. Again, the crowd coming out of the Duchess Theater at one time was known as the Dirty Duchess. Uh, it is now Frivolous's, Frivolous Sal's corner at Crannell and Main Street. Do you recognize anyone in this theater? An apartment above the theater. Trolley car just went by. These are girls working in the Duchess Trousers. Duchess Manufacturing Company manufactured trousers. Ten cents a button, a dollar a rip was their model. This was a foundry. This again is inside of the trouser factory. Poughkeepsie cast stone, one of the first concerns in the Hudson Valley to make concrete blocks. They also made uh, stone window sills and doorsteps, vondolinens, and probably an Indian motorcycle. Vondolinens was a machine shop in the rear. This is Market Street. This is Woody Gindel, an uncle, great uncle of a present architect. This is Market Street looking south. You'll see the Poughkeepsie Savings Bank, the White Columns Poughkeepsie Savings, Port Cashier is Smith Brothers Restaurant, and the rest was the Church Company prop property. Main Street looking east, uh, trolley tracks, Model T Fords, Wallace Company. The brick building on the corner there is where the Marine Midland is today. Dodian Humphreys is now Perlmutter's Furniture Store. There's the latest model of Buick. What a wonderful car it was in those days. If we only had one now. Caught in the act. It's the Poughkeepsie's finest in front of the old Reformed Church across from the Cal corner of Washington and Main Street. Naturally, these police are putting on a show for us. There goes the paddy wagon. Uh, the culprit, we believe, is Detective McGowan. Patsy McGowan. This is inside the police department and the only dark, dark part of the film, fortunately. This is Chief McCabe, well-liked, and very efficient police chief. Uh, he is showing us how in those days they kept track of their customers. They measured them in all ways. From the fingers to the elbow, the length of their fingers, the length of their ears, 
This is our fine chief of police, real gentleman. Poughkeepsie's finest, every one over 200 pounds. It comes Poughkeepsie's finest. You can laugh, but if you lost a bicycle, you got it back within an hour or so. No windshields, hard rubber tires. This uh, pork a share that they're coming out of is between the Nelson House and the next building, that, and they're coming from the Nelson House garage, which was in the rear, just recently torn down. People that owned automobiles in those days during the winter had them cleat completely overhauled. This is the Pioneer Pearl Button Factory on Mansion Street. Um, they made the button from clamshells. Again, the Duchess Theatre. This is Lawyer Mulvey, we believe. Uh, great uncle to the present Mulveys in town. We think the man he's talking to was Mr. Guernsey, the founder of the Guernsey Realty Company. Post office in the rear, very fine automobile. We don't know exactly this boy's name, but he became a very famous dancer. Crowley Milk Company. Mr. Crowley started peddling his own milk on LaGrange Avenue in Arlington and finally built one of the biggest milk companies in the eastern part of the United States. This is Mr. Crowley going over his records. Inside the Crowley Milk Company. We believe a Delaval separator. Segue's Farm on the, man, on the uh, Red Oak Mills Road, Route 376. This is Zykin's Laundry. We're not quite sure, but we do believe this is Mr. Zykin. Cusick House. In the doorway, Mr. Cusick shaking hands with Daniel Wilbur who was a New York State Senator. Across the street from the Falco Bank comes William Shickley, uh, president of the Falco Bank, and W.W. W. Smith. This is Frank's Brewery down on Tulip Street. The man in the cap there is uh, Brewmaster Marks. Mr. Marks is the grandfather of a present dentist in town. You will notice in the not this one, but an electric truck they had, run by electricity, 1912. This is the Collingwood Opera House on Market Street. Before the Audubon Society, you'll notice the bird on top of the ladies' hats. No wonder they said, please remove your hat. Uh, again, there were many, many legitimate plays were here. Caruso sang here. Madam Schumann Hank, Gala Kirchie, all sang at the Opera House. What a beautiful sedan that was that just went by. Mojados, one of our older merchants. Mr. Steinard, one of Poughkeepsie's first oculus. Sweet and Carmen livery stable at 110 Main Street. You could rent a horse or a horse and buggy. He had them. Uh, you'll notice that this is Cleveland's garage on the corner of of Academy and a Cannon. Hard rubber tires, no windshield. In a short while will you see the man selling gasoline on the curb. 
You drive up to the curb as he points, he'd fill a five gallon can and you'd get gasoline in your car. He'd pour it in. It's considered a very dangerous uh, article in those days. This is Bevere and Yoakum Drugstore. Delamater's Garage on Washington Street, um, now a bowling alley, right near the Fallkill Creek. One of Poughkeepsie's first garages. Doty and Humphreys and the staff. The young fellow with the bow tie was Donald Tung. This is now Perlmutter's store on the corner of Crannell and Main. Traffic was not a, a problem in those days. Zimmer House and Rochester Beer, 221 Main Street. This is the Hawk Shop. Yes, they had them in those days as well as today. And this, they're still in business. It's Mr. Pappas, one of Poughkeepsie's first restaurant men. The Busy Bee Restaurant. This is where the lawyers all went for lunch. This is George Slooty and Sons. George will turn to the right and the Sons turn to the left. But this is Poughkeepsie's first furniture store. Very high quality merchandise. Yes, they had them in those days too. This is uh, Wallace Company. We understand this was the introduction of the Annette Kellerman bathing suit. One piece bathing suit. Uh, before this, the ladies went, to, went swimming in their dresses. Jacob Shrout, founder of the Shrout's Ice Cream, and his sons behind him, one of them became mayor of Poughkeepsie in 1920. Again, Jacob, the original man of the, this, now became the National Dairy. The girls who worked for him in this soda fountain. Again, William Shickley and W.W. W. Smith, a very Wonderful man in Poughkeepsie gave College Hill, Presbyterian Church, and many other things. This is Smith Brothers Restaurant and the girls that worked there. The girls lived on the third floor. The Smiths gave the pro this is Smith Brothers Restaurant on Ca on Cannon Street uh, on Church Street. I beg your pardon, on Church Street, to the east of the Armory, opposite the Amrita Club, was the first Smith Brothers factory, where they made the black cough drop. The formula, it is said. How true it is, no one knows, but they claim that a tramp uh, getting a free meal in back of Smith Brothers' restaurant gave Smith Brothers the formula for the cough drop. Smith's never turned away a person for a meal. They could not afford to buy one. Very, very generous people. The cough drop was packed in people's homes. It was taken home and put in a little five cent box at in people's homes. This is the Knickerbocker restaurant. These are lawyers from Market Street and uh, we need to identify each one individually. Paper boxes. It was said that a woman stopped this man driving, said that the was too many boxes on for the poor little horse. And the driver said, Lady, those boxes are as empty as your head. This is the O.H. Booth Hose Company, Firehouse. The three horses were well known by everyone and very friendly and very efficient. It's the public schools. This is Professor Moody of the Ellsworth School. 
the Ellsworth School and the W. W. Smith School were drawn uh, by the same architect. The Board of Education hired the architect to draw one set of plans and used them twice. The W. W. Smith and the Ellsworth School are exactly the same. Remember, these children now would be 60, 70 years old. The jumping of the building is from the old film and not uh, the way it was constructed. First year of the W.W. W. Smith Street School on Church Street. Uh, no lawn yet. And uh, do you recognize grandmother, grandfather? Great uncle. Good looking children, weren't they? Remember, this is before the First World War. Happy? Board of Education, this is LaPaul, the truant officer on the left. These are the Poughkeepsie High School on the corner of Washington and Lafayette Place. Um, it was a privilege to go to high school in those days because many people stopped at the eighth grade. So those that had the opportunity to go four more were considered uh, very privileged. <laughs> 